seul amour, mon Paris. You guys have a whole different uh, philosophy on, on nutrition and, and feeding the riders than a lot of their teams. A lot of the teams have a chef along, but the chef is really just there to check the kitchen and, and the food. But you guys do a lot more than that. Quite a, a bit of my menu design is based on uh, nutrition, atmospheric um, conditions. You know, there's days that are really hot, and compared to days that are really cold, their nutritional guidelines are the same. Yet, you need to design the menu to make it fit so the guys are motivated to eat enough to, to get as much calorie input, nutritional uh, intake, uh, and all the necessities to keep them rolling. What about, uh, like, there's a variety of different riders, and you, you guys actually tailor, or you actually tailor the diet to individual riders. Mm -hmm. That are always changing. Yeah. <laughs> One of our, the famous is uh, Zabriskie. Yeah. Because last year he, he uh, changed to vegan. He was completely vegan. Um, this year we have one that really doesn't even want to go one day pasta. He wants to be completely gluten free, which is pretty easy. I mean, there's, there's issues like, especially for dessert, when you just want to have something with a little bit of, uh, you know, cake or something, where you'd have to make it with a special flour. If you get a problem of getting 8,000 calories in, how do you do that when someone's vegan? That must have been, Dave seemed pretty good last year. He was well, quite happy with it, but. Well, you're just talking about protein calorie. Um, definitely, you can get a lot of calories in all other food groups. The issue is basically a, a human body can only absorb uh, 475, 490 maximum calories an hour. So no matter how much you eat, whether it's a vegan or not, it's hard to replenish after burning so much yeah. calories in a day. And they obviously, a lot of their supplements have to help because there's no way you can replenish all those calories just by eating.